This video discusses choosing measures of effectiveness. MOE stands for measures of effectiveness. How do we assess how well a system is performing? There is a highway capacity manual that you will probably get exposed to at some point that allows you to estimate level of service on a scale from A through F for different aspects of the transportation system. So we may say that traffic at an intersection is operating at level of service D or E or F. F is bad, just like a letter grade. There are level of service measures for various systems, including arterials and freeways, ramps and intersections. There are also LOS measures for bikes and pedestrians, but how do you combine them? This is an unresolved issue in transportation. You can't add level of service F at one intersection to a level of service at another intersection. You can compare them, but you can't sum them up. We want measures that we could combine to obtain an overall level of service. We want to be able to aggregate it so that the level of service at an intersection plus the level of service on a link would give us a level of service on the system of the intersection plus the link. We want it to be understood by users. So when we say a facility operates at level of service F and we say that it's congested, people will understand it. If we say that it's measured based on density, the number of vehicles per kilometer on a link, they might have a little sense of that, but they don't have a very good sense of it and you probably don't have a real good sense of what the congested number of vehicles per kilometer is. However, if you said that you have to wait 20 seconds longer because of the extra traffic, you would have a better sense of what that meant, because you naturally have a sense of time. There's a misperception in that too, but you have a much better sense of time than you would do of traffic density. You want to be able to measure it. You can imagine a lot of level of service measures that would be really interesting to know, for instance, perceived travel time or the utility of travelers, but which are not easily measured. The measure must be able to be predicted. You need to be able to build a model that can output the desired measure of effectiveness with some confidence. And the measure only matters if it is used in a regulatory or a control context, so that if you change something, such as the signal timing, you can measure the change in your level of service measure. If you prohibit a new development from going in near an intersection, you can see how the level of service at the intersection would change. You also need to think about standards. When we say that the speed on a link is 50 kilometers an hour, is that good or bad? That depends on the link. 50 kilometers an hour is too much on a neighborhood in front of an elementary school. It's too slow on an, inter on an interstate highway. So the answer of whether it is good or bad depends on context. The measure of effectiveness should consider that as well.